Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham making Sconcy Business. Today we're going to be talking about hard truths. And this is sort of a sequel to what I previously did on a video talking about passion and asking advice from people around you about passion, as well as ensuring that the people closest to you support your passion or being able to at least deal with those negative sentiment feelings from people close to you because a lot of people value their opinions. And, um, what I forgot to sort of dive into within that video or, you know, to cover as well was the fact that while you don't want to necessarily be negatively affected by, you know, people not supporting you, you don't want to avoid the hard truths that people might be telling you. So there's a big difference between I don't support your music because you'll never get anywhere and you're awful. That's not really a hard truth. You could easily work on your skill and become better eventually and, and, and get to wherever you need to get to as you progress. But if someone says something like, Hey man, you know, your last song, there was a lot of errors. It was recorded with like too low quality of a mic and too low quality of an environment when you recorded it. You're probably going to have to rent studio time or da 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 da. And then someone might be like, wow, that's my best song. Da, 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 da. I can't believe you would say that. Da. And then you want, like, so, so the, here's the issue. This is what most people do. They say, I want you to tell me the hard truth. I want to hear the hard truth from you. I need to know so that I can improve myself. And then they say, okay, well, I'll tell you the hard truth. Tells them the hard truth. And then the person gets upset. And then even though you keep saying, tell me the hard truth, tell me the hard truth, tell me the hard truth. This person doesn't want to deal with you getting upset. So they're probably going to start to lie to you if every time you get upset, even though you want the hard truth, you say you want the hard truth, but your actions say lie to me. And people are going to go based off of your actions, not just what you're saying, because they don't want to deal with it. And either way, you're, you're going to get upset. So, you know, it, it really depends if they want to help you if they really, really, really want to help you, they'll, you know, deal with the, like the nuisance of you getting upset with them every time. But I don't know how long people are going to put up with that when they're just there to help you. Right? So that's why you've got to ensure that if you're asking for hard truths from people that you've got to be super, super neutral when receiving this advice and, you know, just knowing that they're telling you the hard truth and that it's not going to be easy and being just very prepared for that so that you don't unintentionally get them to start to lie to you. It's not easy, but it's definitely crucial because eventually you're going to accidentally, whether, whether or not you're trying to have yes men who are just hyping everything that you do and agreeing with everything because they want to, you know, have the connection with you or the cloud or whatever it might be, or you're unintentionally doing it by saying one thing and your actions saying another thing. And then everyone un accidentally sort of starts to lie to you because they're just not, they're just trying to avoid the awkward situations that you create with your actions that you might not have wanted to do, but you're going to end up getting lied to if you continue down that path. And that's the issue, right? Most people aren't even aware or they'll say like, well, I always ask for the hard truth, but it's not as much about asking for the hard truth. Is it a, as it is about reacting to the hard truth. And that I think is the most important part of ensuring that you don't have yes men around you is the way that you react to hard truths. Because it might not just be your friends, right? It could be your, uh, you, your boss asks for a hard truth and no one's going to tell the boss the hard truth because the last guy, you know, told the boss the hard truth and he yelled at them and then didn't bring them to the next meeting. And it's like, well, if you want to get to the next meeting, it depends on your, it, it will affect your financial potential in the future if you are not a yes man for your boss. So then the problem is the boss will always assume everything he's talking about is just the best ever because everyone's going to say, yes, it's amazing. And no one's going to tell him the hard truths that might actually help improve the business. But otherwise they're not going to get that because they've built an environment of yes men and encourage that whether or not it was intentional. So I'm very curious to hear about what you guys have to say from this or for this, because I think this is a very interesting topic and it, and it definitely connects to what I was talking before about how you do want the people around you to support your passion, but you also need them to give you the hard truths. And that's why you need to ensure the way that you react to the hard truths is 
like you're trying as hard as you can to react in the best way possible, right? Otherwise, these people aren't going to be reliable and you are going to self-sabotage. It's not what they're doing. Most of the time, people who are close to you and actually want you to succeed, they're not going to lie to you to make you feel good unless you've given them reason to in the past. If you praise them for giving you the hard truths, then you'll always get the hard truths and that's what you need if you want to improve. This also connects to what I talked about with fixed mindset and growth mindset two days ago, where, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're on a fixed mindset, you're going to say, no, everything is other people's fault. I don't have to change. I don't have to put in more effort and you know, you won't take advice. Whereas, you know, with the growth mindset, you're like, I want to do better. So I need to encourage people to tell me what I really need to hear. Otherwise I won't be able to improve. And, and, and that's, and the growth mindset is going to lead you to a better life. So people giving you nice little white lies, telling you your idea was great when it sucked is not going to helpful is not going to be helpful because it's going to bring you closer to a fixed mindset where you go around thinking you're so entitled to everything because everything you've ever said is so great and everyone agrees with it. And then when you actually get someone who agree, who disagrees, you'll get all upset because you're like, everyone else agrees when again, They've just been lying to you. So you don't even know, you don't even have a a great take on reality on what people actually think and, and how things actually are because you've built an environment and an atmosphere where people need to lie to you to smooth over social interactions. Let me know what you think about this. I think this is a really interesting topic and probably pretty pertinent to a lot of people and, uh, Yeah, let me know in the comments below. We'll keep the discussion going. I'm Scott Cunningham, aka Scottsy Business, signing off. Cheers.